Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to part number 27 of the Swiss Confederacy campaign. Here we are on the campaign map and if you remember from last time, it was a disaster and we lost our navy. But we did start creating a few ships here, well one ship, a 64 gunship actually, and we have our army and my agent in there. Um, so we're going to end turn now, because this is the end turn phase from last time, and we'll progress with this campaign. So if you, um, oh so sorry, uh, I got some news for you guys, um, check out the Total War uh, Network, TWN, that's right, TWN, Total War Network, it's a new YouTube channel set up by Legendary Vendetta and THFE Productions, otherwise known as Oakley, now Oakley, you guys might, some of you guys might know of him, he's got about 17,000 subscribers himself, and he's been doing a lot of videos with, um, well, for Total War, for Rome 2 Total War, I should say. He's been doing a lot of um, faction analysis videos, um, the Mastodon screenshot campaign that uh, Jack Listed has been releasing on the Total War forums, um, and Legendary Vendetta is another YouTuber who's joined with him to create this channel, and basically the aim of this channel is to put all Total War YouTubers in one place. Oh, I've been attacked. Damn it! Damn it! One ship as well. I have one ship. Oh my god. Bastards. They may need trade ships. So I'm gonna fight this. That's just upset me out as now. Oh, damn it. What? Oh, I should. I've got my, I got my army on the ship as well. That's the worst part about this. I'm gonna lose my army. Not a good way to start. Very disappointed. But anyway, um, as I was saying before I got interrupted by this stupid navy. <laughs> That's just upset me. Uh, basically, the aim of this uh, channel, Total War Network, is to create a sort of community hub for all of, um, well, for you two, basically. And I'm taking a few screenshots at the moment from my Facebook page, so I hope you guys don't mind that. Just zoom in there. Get some nice action shots for you guys. For my channel, people who do look at my Facebook page. Anyway, it's enough of that. But yeah, basically, uh, the whole point of this channel is to put all the Total War YouTubers together. So they got some big name Total War YouTubers such as Prince of Macedon, Heir of Carthage, Lionheart. But they've also got smaller channels on there with only like 50, 60, 70 subscribers and I've been contacted by them so they're interested in putting my channel on theirs as well I've recently uploaded for them their sort of introduction video so you can check that out on my channel or you can check it out on their channel um, and I'll put their their channel, I don't think I can put it on yet but I will put their channel on my featured channels as well so you guys can uh, click on that to view their channel but look it's looking pretty good they've got a They've got their first thousand subscribers as well, and they're going to be doing a lot of cool competitions. I think they've got a competition starting up recently uh, where you can win a $200 Gladius, Roman Gladius replica. Uh, I don't know what that is in British money, but it's $200. I imagine it's something like £170, £180. I, I guess it's something like that. But yeah, that's looking pretty pretty good. Do I have a chance for this? Do I? And I get both of these ready in case I have to fire. Oh, this is irritating. I hate it when... I hate naval battles. We had that last part where... I think it was about 40 odd minutes or 50 odd minutes the part lasted. And the naval battle lasted for about half an hour. <laughs> I just... I don't know, I just hate naval battles. Oh, was he sinking? Oh, I thought he was sinking for a minute then. <laughs> the way the way the boat took a nosedive into the water, I thought he, he was sinking. Anyway, um, yeah, so... they got a good channel, it's very exciting. Go and check it out, and I'll be featured on it as well, along with a lot of other good YouTubers. And, yeah, that's basically my news for the day. Here we go, have some of that. Guys upset me enough as it is. I'd love to destroy this navy. 
feel like I would achieve something if I can destroy this navy. They're taking some some damage, haven't they? If I can take these guys out, we're looking pretty good because I think that's their main ship. The rest is just trade ships. But I said that last time and it didn't work, so ignore me. I'm talking absolute bollocks probably, but I just hate naval battles. I'd rather fight on land. Give me some artillery and some cavalry. I feel at home then when I got artillery and cavalry. Here we go, fire. I'm just gonna keep pounding them. See if I can get a few more shots away now. On this ship. They're in range. They are in range. Get some more shots away now. Come on, come on, come on. Need to get back in range. Not in range anymore. Come on, get back in range. Why are you looking over there? I need you guys back in range. That's more like it. Fire! What if I get a feeling this isn't working? We'll try a train, uh, uh, a chain shot this time. I can't pronounce things to save my life. Chain. <laughs> keep trying. I keep wanting to say train shot. We're nowhere near a train station, you stupid idiot. <laughs> I got, but I mentioned Jack Lester's thread earlier, and I've been reading that a lot lately. And if you haven't checked, if you haven't looked at it, check it out. It's pretty good. Um, even though it's not a video, it's just photos, just screenshots. It does make for a good read. It gives some brief details about about his let's play. Here we go. Does this work? Oh, we have impact. We have impact. I'm trying to destroy one ship basically. To begin with, all these ships are trade ships. I think all of them are trade, 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 trade. This one isn't. This is a sloop. But it's such a small ship compared to mine there. Surely I can take this guy out. I'm gonna have to repair soon as well. Can't afford to keep repairing all the time. See it looks like it looks like then the way that ship went into the water, it looked like that he was you know. You know what, I might just swing this ship right around. I'm going to swing it right around and go for these two ships. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's quite boring at the moment just watching me sail around with one ship. So we're going to bring it right around and I'm going to go after those front two ships. But done the... I mean look at this is quite, quite good. This is uh, Napoleon Total War using Darth Mod. And look at the, the whole sea effect, the way the ripples go, the way the ocean... And you know, this is from... I think it's 2010 I believe. Let's get some shots away while we're here and again. Let's get both these loaded back up. I think it's from 2010. And well, what I'm trying to say is that we're now in the year 2013. I couldn't remember what year it was then. <laughs> we're in the year 2013 and the graphics are going to be a lot better, obviously. And they do look very nice on Rome, especially some of the naval stuff I've seen. And, and it's because of that kind of that kind of gameplay, because obviously this kind of, this kind of naval warfare doesn't suit me at all. But the Roman one probably would, because Shogun 2's was pretty good, but but it was it was too ba it was too basic I'd say because it was basically um, just fire arrows at the enemy ship. And I'm, I'm not on about Fall of the Samurai now. I'm on about just Shogun 2. Whereas this uh, oh I thought you were sinking then. Oh he's coming right round. You bugger. Let's go for this ship. Come on. Let me get some shots. Bring one of these now. Wait till we get a bit nearer. Uh, but no. Spray some shots on him. I'm just going to keep chasing these ships. Get this one over as well. Alright, I'm going to not speed this up anymore. And I'll wait for these to get a bit nearer. I think we can take these guys out. No. More oh, damage. Plenty of damage. 
thank you very much. We've taken some of the crew out and most of their guns. See, we've taken most of their guns out. And they still got, they got six guns left, and these guys have got 17. And these guys have all got 12, but I think we can deal with them. Change hostile as well. Take the sails out, then we should be doing okay. I don't mind. The, I don't mind being surrounded. I can fire on all different sides, but I'm going to be down. I've lost the crew. Still got most of my guns intact, which is the main thing, really. Oh, the problem is the numbers game will catch up with me eventually. Oh, I see him getting fired on all sides. Come on, turn, you buggers! Turn, 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 turn. turn. Even range. Speed is up slightly. I'll do. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Fire. There we go. We take a bit more damage there. And these guys are not in range yet. Hey, I've done some damage. Thank God for that. I do think I'm doomed sometimes. Speed this up slightly so we can get these guys in range. I may actually board one of these ships now. Right, I think we can fire. Three, two, and one. Fire. Some more damage. Some more debris. Time to repair. Time to repair now. These ships are perfect. Oh, I can get these guys. Look at how close they are. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> don't move. <laughs> Please don't move. You're in perfect range at the moment. <laughs> These guys are too far away to worry me at the moment, but these guys, I can get two for the price of one here if they just stay there until I get these cannons back. Go on, reload, but guys, it takes forever this does. Keep doing it. Come on. Until I reload. Oh, I see. Move out of bloody range now. Right, here we go. Fire. I could have had two then. Could have had two. Right, they're gonna have to repair, unfortunately. This ship's completely wrecked. Well, not completely wrecked, but it's lost one of its sails. We're still repairing. Come on. Guns are reloading a lot quicker now. I'm gonna zoom in for this shot. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly now. I think we may have caught one of them then. Don't really have much in the way of. I could use a grape shot perhaps. Uh, I think we'll be okay with what we got for now. Trade ship, trade ship, trade ship, sloop. Trade ship, where's the enemy ship gone? Right at the back up there. Okay. Come on, one of these, one of these, need one of these quick. Here we go, fire. There we go, some damage. And this side, fire. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, plenty of damage to being done here. So I'm actually quite proud of myself at the moment. Oh, yeah. are they... I thought water was coming out of the ship then. So this battle's getting me excited now. It's like faith has been restored. The fact that I'm able to do some damage to these ships. Everyone knows I can't stand naval battles. So I just keep bitching about them every video. If I can at least sink one ship, then I'll give me the confidence to carry on. Let's get both of these up again. Is this guy in range? Can't see him. Ah, oh, I think he is. Yes, yeah, so we'll try it. Fire. Nothing came out. That's weird. This guy's in range. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Three, two, one, and... Get back in range, come on. Fire. No. Do some more damage again. Losing slightly. Encourage superior of the force. If I can just keep my my guy in this battle, 
we're losing slightly and we're shaking. Don't be shaken, don't be shaken. Come on now, we're doing well. You guys doing pretty well. The last thing I need is for you guys to run away from this battlefield. This uh not really a field, but this battle, I'll just say. <laughs> Try to correct myself. They're completely surrounding me as well. Practically every ship's around me. It's only so long until the numbers game will catch up with me. Come on, one of you. Reload quickly. No. Fire. There we go, some more damage with him. This guy in range at all. Ah, nobody's in range. Maybe I should maybe I should be trying to sail away. Sail away with me. They're on the thing. <laughs> oh this is a nightmare, come on. I should at least I should I'm gonna try and sail. I'm going to try to sail away from these guys at the fire rate range and then I'm going to repair and then get back into the battle like this fire this guy winning slightly apparently oh, this guy's blocking me off look stop blocking me I'm gonna tilt him around there we are, and then I'm going to fire on his side. Our thing's not working properly, oh well. Nice bit of damage there. Hopefully we can fire this side now. Yes, fire. Doing casualties. Don't be concerned. So I fight all my battles with heavy losses. <laughs> if I can just get myself out today. I've done a fair bit of damage. I mean, some of, look, this, this ship's shaken. Men have been lost, guns have been lost on all of these ships now. Um, team range? I might have just pulled them. Concerned with the hell damage, that's okay. That's the one thing they mentioned on Rome 2's naval battles features this year. They mentioned got some more damage there. They mentioned that on the naval battles, when you hover over a unit, it tells you gives you more details. So it'll say concerned, hell damage, stuff like that, but then they'll also say stuff like um, winning percentage, great or not great, or morale's good but could be better. It's just more details basically, more for us to go by so we can quickly hover over and go, all oh, right, he's in danger, I'm gonna pull him out now. Just stuff like that. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna fire away. I will try to win this naval battle. Oh, I'm not in range, come on. Bring him out up here. Doing, 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 doing. Come on, nice big arc. Let's speed this up slightly for you guys. And fire. Cool. Oh, okay. Anyway, repair this time. We're going to repair slightly now. Uh, encourage the admirals alive. Where is the admiral? Oh, over there. They've only got 16 guns left on that ship. They're encouraged because they've got a superior local force. Well, isn't that sweet? The other thing I'm looking forward to... Oh, we're back now, right. The other thing I'm looking forward to as well is the manual artillery, which we saw in Shogun 2. We also saw it on, saw it on the naval warfare. So you could, for instance... Nothing fired. Let's drop anchor. Let's drop anchor and get a few shots away on this ship. We're in pretty good range at the moment. We've got two ships we can probably hit from here. Fire. 
that chip over there. That's good. Wish I could take some of these ships out. One of these days, I will win a naval battle on this channel. <laughs> if it's the last thing I do, I will win a naval battle. Look at this man by here. Hello. Oops, he's gone. There he is. Nice little view. One for the Facebook page. Let's bring this around slightly again. Not a confident, that's good. The men are confident. If I can just take one chip out. There we go, more damage again. It's great to keep doing this. Attack from what I'll say. Concerned attack from a stern. See, so I kind of flank right around them now, and they're, they're trying to flank back around to me as well. But I'm happy just to stay here and keep firing for the time being. I'm, I'm doing damage on these ships. I might be able to make this guy a route now, which would be great because I don't think I made the unit route last time in the last video. So we'll see what happens. Come on. Come on. Just playing cat and mouse at the moment with these guys. Here we go. Fire. More damage again, I think. Time to repay one once more. I may change to grape shot this time. If I could take that out, I'd be something, right? We've only got 16 guns, we've got 45. Uh, maybe I should go for the Admiral. Probably the smart thing to do. Let's go for the Admiral. And I go to Grape Shot as well. Oh, I don't want to withdraw. What am I doing? <laughs> just press, just press. Withdraw on accident. I don't want that. It's me being stupid. Right, when this one charges, uh, recharges, I should say. I can switch to Grape Shot. I'm going to try to sink the Admiral's ship. That's the new plan. Get some shots away, look. I think I'm too far away to do damage. From that side. Because I should be able to board most of these ships. They've only got 50 odd crew. 51, 51, 52, 54, 53, 53, 46, and 17. So, am I in the right sort of range with, come on, keep doing it, sharp turn, sharp turn what you want, nice sharp turn, I'm going to crash this now, I can see it happening. Oh, come on, I hate the pathfinding when it's like this. Ship stuck. Right, it's not a case. We're gonna fire on these guys. Fire! Go back there. Gonna hit them from point blank range. We can do a lot of damage from here. I have actually got a better ship this time than last time. So that's in my favour. Come on, hurry up. Go, go in. The arc this away from the enemy. Firing. Doing damage, we're doing damage. Right, here we go. A few seconds now. A few more seconds. And we can fire on these guys. Now. There we go. Some damage. Some power damage. Some more shots as well. They're shaken. I wish we could get these guys to route. That would really help me out. There's bits of debris, bits of ship falling all over the place. I don't know how long we can keep this up from. Far to be honest though. Like 
turn the ship around this time. Our Admiral looks really weak. He's shaking all over the place. I think you're one or two shots on him and I might be able to take him out. Come on, three, two, and one. Fire! Some more damage again. Just like that one shot on his Admiral. Right, we're gonna spin this guy around now. I wish the Admiral would stop moving though, <laughs> keeping my head in. While we're out here, we can repair. Take that out more right. right. Speed up, zoom out a minute. Oh, they've routed. We've actually routed this one ship. Well, I did say I would like to route at least one unit in this battle, and lo and behold, I've done it. So, thank God. <laughs> Come on, keep swinging, keep swinging. Right. Oh, we nearly on the Admiral. We nearly on the Admiral. Here we go. Fire. Some damage. Let's bring, bring ourselves back up to speed now. 50 men, 50 crew members on the ship and 16 guns remaining. We we'll continue to fire on this Admiral. We're winning slightly, which is good, and they are losing slightly. He's not even in com combat. Oh, this guy. It's just, just me and the Admiral at the moment. And it's going pretty well. I'd love it if I won this battle. Look at my ships I'm against. Totally outnumbered. And they, they even got... A decent kind of ship, a 38 gun frigate against the 64 gun frigate. Oh, if I can do this, it really would be something. This might actually save my campaign at the moment because it's not going well. At least the last few occasions it hasn't been going well. Oh, medium range as well. Come on, keep coming to me. Keep coming to me, I will shoot you. Speed things up slightly. Here we are, he's in range about now. Three, two, one, and fire. Some damage. Lost some more crew, I think. Let's get both of these going. Try and fight from both sides. He's got, okay, he's got three veterans these as well, this guy. Because the, the, the trade ships I can take out, they haven't got that many guns. It's just withstanding them and making sure I can probably destroy them, but... The actual Admiral ship is the tough one. At the moment, anyway. Come on. Come on, we need in range. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. This is great, this is great. And... Fire! I think I got him out of time. I'm just gonna go straight for this Admiral. Apparently this guy's winning slightly. Oh, come on. Did they surrender? Oh, they just routed. They didn't surrender. I'd love if a few ships surrendered. Help me build my navy back up. God knows I need it at the moment. On one of these sides, at least. Fire. A little bit of damage there. On that ship. They still encouraged. They still got a lot of green. Apart from this guy, this uh, sloop is. He's concerned because of casualties, so he's doing something right. It looks like they're trying to run away, don't they? The, the Admiral. Don't mind that. We'll try and take some of these trade ships out then. While the danger's over that side of the of the battle, we'll try and take some of these guys out instead. 
Hopefully they won't weigh me down too much though. Keep going this direction for now. And three, two, and one, and fire. Still got over a hundred crew and I still got forty one guns. Those twenty one guns. Sorry I'm singing Green Day. <laughs> Terribly, I should say. Um, let's just turn the ship around slightly. Lots of smoke, lots of debris. Um, and while it's a quiet moment in the battle, um, actually, the video I'm not going to be on about this is uh, probably up on my channel already. So if you haven't, check out my one hour special of Empire Total War. It wasn't actually meant to be a one hour special, but I kind of went over, so I thought as a treat I'd do it for you guys, so check it out. Um, I had a weird glitch in that video as well, which I wasn't happy with towards the end of the video, but you'll see that if you do it. Um, actually, while I'm on the subject of uh, battles and glitches and stuff, if you guys got any tips for naval battles, let me know because I'm terrible and I could do with a little bit of help probably. As you can see, I'm terrible. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I think I'm doing okay, but there's definitely room for me to improve. Here we go. Fire! No damage again. I need to repay again. I suppose the good thing with only having one ship and only worrying about one ship is that I don't need to actually focus on different units all over the battlefield. I only got one unit to focus on. I can just manage this one unit right now. Reload as quickly as possible. I've barely got any sails, I just not realised. No wonder I can't. Uh... Oh, it's terrible shot. Come on, try at least. Get into range, get into range. Come on, come on, come on. Right, stay there. Don't need to move. Stay there. Should be good, should be good, should be good. Should catch him, at least. Yes, this is good, this is good range, this is good range. Fire. Oh, damage. Here we are. They still got 12 guns. They still got 12. They, they got mostly crew, these guys have. Oh, mind you, I haven't been down this this side of the battlefield. And finally, he's returned. The Admiral's coming for me now. This is what I want. I'll have a few more uh, shots on these guys by here, and then I'm going to uh, swoop right round for the for the Admiral and try and take him out. Take him out, these ships will fall, surely, straight after. This guy I think the Admiral's starting to fire on me now as well. And fire. Ooh. Some damage on that ship. This is what I'm aiming for. Gonna fast forward this again. Oh, I can't fire on either of these now. Right, let's bring us back to normal. Do I board or don't I board? I think I should board. Let's board the Admiral ship. I've had enough fighting like I have been. If I can get close and board him, I think we stand a good chance. There we are. They've only got they got 49, I got 99. I board this ship, surely then, once the Admiral's dead. Once the Admiral's dead, then we 
should surely be able to do quite well. Have a couple of screenshots again. A couple more. Nice move actually here now. And the good thing is I'm so near the ship that if they do try to fire. These guys look at this, the sloop surrendered. They're sinking, that's why. <laughs> They're sinking. Oh, yeah, they are sinking. Well, you can see the ship sink. I'm going to speed this up again. Slowly, we're seeing the sloop sink. My ship is in terrible need. You can actually see the water through my ship. Don't think I've done that. No, I think I've done one. I have 43. 42 men against 17. It's the guns it goes by though. It's got 11 guns. And <laughs> the sloop is starting to go. Here he goes. The sloop is sick in. And the men are diving in the water. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm easily a. Oh, look at that. I'm evil. Taking. Making fun of. Hey! Ad Admiral's dead. Now we shall see their true colours. Right, the Admiral's dead. And they surrendered. That's what I wanted. That's the hard part now. And then jumping straight back onto the ship, look. And the Pirates of the Caribbean. So, um, my men are slowly getting back onto the ship. Soon I'll have control of the ship. Their Admiral's dead, and the ship has surrendered to me. And these ships are now surrendering, look. Surely all these ships should soon fall back into line. The tide of battle is slowly turning. I've only got seven guns left, that's the danger. Nine guns, ten guns, twelve guns, nine guns, eleven guns, and eleven guns. So, up against just trade ships now. And that is, of course, the danger for me. The sloop is gone, as you can see, that's what's left of it. The men have jumped ship and are drowning. Good enough for them. They're still drowning by here. Actually, they, there they are. Um, but they're gone, they're going to be at the bottom of the ocean, and we now got to repair quickly while we're here, while I got some protection with these ships around by the side of me. If I can take out perhaps this ship with they and this ship perhaps, because they got, they're both shaking at the moment, because the Admiral's dead. They're all concerned that the Admiral's dead. Get ourselves over here now. Speed this up again. These naval battles do take a long time, and we can now fire. Hoping a couple of shots now on some of these guys. And they should perhaps break. Looks like this is going to be another long video as well. So stay tuned for the conclusion of this battle. And. If I can get another shot on this ship, I'm hoping that we can perhaps break these as well and they can surrender to me. We're in range, we're in range, we're in range, come on. Keep turning, keep turning. Let's get that to turn a bit. There we go, fire. A bit more damage again, that's good. Uh, where are we? Five more ships, six more ships, seven more ships. These are come back. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Maybe we'll have to board another ship. But they don't have many guns, which is the advantage that I have. I may have to board another ship though. Fire! Nice. 
you know what? And go straight for the boarding action. I'm gonna board this trade ship now. Actually, no, I'm not going to. That's probably a bad idea. Fire. See, this battle ends and I win. I get that 38 gun frigate. That would help my navy out tremendously. Just a bit more, just a bit more. There we go, fire. More damage again. Oh, these battles take forever, don't they? I could have easily fought two land battles by now. It's just the one thing the navy that is like forever to kill them as well. One of our ships is withdrawing oh, from the fight. Withdrawing. Come on. You were doing so well. We've lost this battle now. Ah. Oh he's back. Oh he's not, he's gone. But there we are, close to feet. A little bit disappointed because I thought we could have won that. We we killed the Admiral. It's irritating. Oh, I still got one ship remaining though. Oh no! Why? Why are you doing this to me? It's not fair. Oh, I know I'll fight another one. All the resolve. I still got a ship remaining, funnily enough. And they've lost four. That's actually worked out in my favour. No, it hasn't. I lost the ship anyway. Oh, I've lost our whole army now as well. Damn it. Agent's been killed. I've recruited a unit, but my army's been lost. Oh, so irritated. The good thing is, I got quite a bit of money to spend, so. Oh. Let's spend on a navy. 64 gun, 80 gun, 86 gun. 80 gun. I'm gonna go just spend loads. Frigate as well. Spend the money. We'll end turn here. Bloody irritating when that happens. I had the the whole army on the ship. That's going so well in that battle. We took out a couple of of their ships. One of them surrendered. One of them sank. I thought, great. The rest of them are shaken because the admiral's dead, and we can now take them out. But look what happened. My ship just surrendered, and that was it. There was no way back then. But yeah, to summarise, I suck at naval battles. It's like the worst thing in Total War games. I can I can do line battles, I can do skirmish skirmishes, I can do ambushes, cavalry charges, artillery, uh, melee, ranged warfare, I can do all that, but when it comes to naval warfare, I completely suck. So building constructed, that's great. Um, we've got some money coming through now for these ships. We've got a couple of trade ships as well to bolster my my armies. We're getting 3,000 odds per turn now, which is great. Let's have a look at my diplomatic relations a second. And then I'll probably end the video then after this. So we'll just have a quick look. So Spain are friendly. Do they have any technology for me though? They don't. How about the French? I bet they do. No, they don't, funny enough. It's weird. We're no longer at war with Britain. And they got no technology for us either. I wouldn't mind a ceasefire with Russia or Austria. Russia is the most most likely one to Oops. Peace. Oh, they don't want peace. Why don't they want peace? What about Austria? Do they want peace? Ah, irritating. I'm going to need to bolster my forces in the Balkans and in Greece. Definitely in Greece, actually, because... Yeah, we'll get a couple of grenadiers to help out in Greece. And we shall get... 
what have we got here? There we go. We actually got half a stack almost. So we will just get a couple of a cavalry unit and a militia unit. We'll end turn again and then we'll probably wrap up the video after this end turn phase. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video so far and to summarize it's been a shame the way that uh, the last two videos have gone now with naval battles because I really felt after we destroyed the Ottoman Empire that we were making some good progress. You know we actually have five provinces now and the Swiss Confederacy is a very hard camp campaign in my opinion in this game because because of where you start and because of the French because the French are so aggressive in this game that and you start off as an ally which is good but there's always that point where you're thinking are they gonna backstab me you know are Wittenberg gonna wage war on me would France side with them over us so there's so many uh, possibilities for this campaign to go at the moment but hopefully we can do pretty well for ourselves and and not get wiped out. I'm gonna go with three units of line infantry to help out here. I'm thinking now perhaps to go into Russia. I'm thinking that the way you know, I lost a whole stack there, it's gonna take forever to build another one up. And there's always that danger that uh, my navy will just get wiped out again. So I'm thinking that I may just try to balance things a bit, get a few trade ships going, another frigate. It's going to take 18 turns to complete this full navy, so uh, I'm not in any rush at the moment. So I might I might just leave them there to build naturally, and then oh, I should have repaired this actually. Um, might do another end turn actually to just to repair that. But yeah, it's been irritating that um, those navies got wiped out because it now means I got to backtrack and rebuild everything again, and that that might take up another whole part. So. Yeah, it's been a bit frustrating. But that's life sometimes. But like I was saying about the French, they, they're they so aggressive in Napoleon Total War. I mean, look how much land they have. It, actually, I'm going to check the map in a second, because I think they're almost touching Sweden now. It's far north of Sweden. Oh, it's just changed blue. They've t they're in Russia now. They're fighting in Russia. Okay, that's interesting. I've got an idea. The French have pushed hard at the Russians now. I just noticed that they've taken... Let's see if I can bring it up here. See this region where the cursor is, Belarus? The French have just taken Belarus. So I'm thinking now perhaps I should go for these provinces in the south. Russia are going to be too worried with the French up here. Look at these provinces. Look how far up north. They've got as far as Estonia, the French. This is unbelievable how quickly they expand. They're so overpowered. But I'm thinking now perhaps oh they got a full stack. See they've got a full stack there. Which I've got to be careful of. Um supply post there. Don't I have an agent somewhere? I'm sure I had a message saying I got a new agent. Uh where is he? Is that him? The guy spy there he is. Like this spy can come he can go as far as Transylvania. For me. And I'm going to continue building this, this army of mine. We need some cavalry, don't we? So we'll get another unit of cavalry. I'm going to have two armies. I'm going to have one which is going to go from Greece. Get some cavalry here. This one needs a couple of units of cavalry. I'm going to have one army from Greece that I'm going to build up over the next few turns. And they're going to go for Istanbul straight away. I got this army from Belgrade, which is going to go for Bucharest straight away. And I'm going to try and turn this part red. In the meantime, I'm going to try and slowly build this navy, which is going to take a while. It's going to take me at least 17 turns to get a full navy. So um, they, that's what what's happening with this campaign at the moment. It's going to be navy over here, war over here. I'm going to extend eastwards and take these out because the French are building up this way, so I'm going to have to counteract them eventually, so I may as well take up these provinces. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.